sugar, spice, and everything nice. Wait! That's the ingredients for the Powerpuff Girls. Let's try this again. Sex, alcohol, and booty. That's the ingredients for the original Sin City. When I say Sin City, I'm not referring to Las Vegas. And the booty I'm referring to isn't an ass. I'm talking about the original place that made the names, Blackbeard, Henry Morgan, and inspired the Pirates of the Caribbean. Welcome to Port Royal Jamaica. The year is 1655, wait. I guess we can cover some of the boring stuff first. Let's backtrack a bit. I guess we can go to the year 1494, when that asshole, Christopher Columbus, says he discovered the new world. Remember those indigenous people we spoke about in an earlier video? Look at me, assuming that you've been here before. Well if this is your first time on this channel. We have a video somewhere on here discussing the first people of the Caribbean. So those people, the Tainos, were busy minding their own business when the asshole pulled up with three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. What happened over the next several years was probably the stuff of Hitler's wet dreams, the asshole and his crew single-handedly wiped out a whole civilization of people, like, he was correction fluid, ironically called a whiteout. But, as I mentioned, we covered that on an earlier video, so you can go check it out. The Spanish held Port Royal for about 146 years, before the British came knocking. So let's try this again, the year is 1655, Admiral Sir William Penn, and General Robert Venables, catches the Spaniards slipping. They had the Spanish on the run, and completely annihilated them, within five years. However, they inherited a problem left behind by the Spanish. And this problem would end up coming back to haunt them repeatedly. Ex-slaves, that escaped, and formed communities in the highlands, would constantly harass them. Damn! I'm going off topic again. That, will be a story for another video. Anyways, Port Royal. Originally named Cagway, located at the end of the Palisados, at the mouth of Kingston Harbour, this little patch of sinner's paradise was heaven on earth for its main inhabitants. You remember I mentioned Pirates of the Caribbean earlier? Well it's fair to say that Captain, Jack, Sparrow, would have been right at home. While Port Royal, had a cathedral, and four churches, the remainder of the city was a bit less pious. It is said that about 25% of the city, yes, one in every four building, was either a brothel, or a bar. This gave swashbucklers a lot of places to spend money, and money was one thing they were not short of. Gold, and rum, were in abundance. Pirates, privateers and buccaneers were proud to call it home. The British had a unique problem on their hands, they were successful in taking Port Royal away from the Spanish, but they knew just as easy as they were able to take it, it was only a matter of time before they themselves might end up in a similar predicament. Based on its position, Port Royal was a strategic jewel in the Caribbean. And the British were not about to leave it undefended. They were also at war, and couldn't spare any ships to lay idly by. So Governor Edward Dolay came up with a unique solution for their unique problem. He invited a group of privateers called the Brethren of the Coast, to make Port Royal their home and to help safeguard. This strange arrangement worked beautifully. Based on all the illegal activities, riches poured into the city, and as for anyone that may have thought of attacking, those privateers wreaked havoc, looting and sinking ships. Essentially this agreement made piracy legal, as long as no British ships were targeted. Did I forget to mention that the captain of those Brethren of the Coast, was Henry Morgan. A man so famous, he had a rum named after him. But as with anything, all good things must come to an end. Or in the case of Port Royal, all bad things must come to an end. The place once dubbed the wickedest place on earth, 
had to have an ending as extravagant as its existence. And on a dreadful day in June of 1692, the earth opened and swallowed many people. And just like that, the end of an era. Today Port Royal sits as a small quiet fishing village, far removed and completely the opposite of its former glory. I'll see you next time, as I take you on another journey through history. Thank you for tuning into Prehistoric.